Hello lovies, welcome to Crash the Stash where we try to use up all of our goodies in our stash. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. I wanted to dye my papers, um, get a tea dyed effect, but I didn't want to go through all the work of boiling the water and the tea and everything. So I decided to try something different and I filled up a tub of warm water and then added some Daler, Daler and Rowney um, acrylic ink um, in the sepia color. And then just added the papers that I was going to be using that I thought I would be using in today's project. And what I got was delightful. Um, I scrunched it up and that is what made all the difference and then those drops that I'm dropping on there made a ton of difference but that scrunching up is where all of that ink will lie and it wasn't super super dark but it did offer exactly what I was looking for kind of an aged effect so an option for you if you don't want to go through a tea dyeing or coffee bath kind of thing so I just took a regular sponge and I wanted that kind of aged effect for the background too. Now, I am working on a non-gessoed surface, which is really important because the effect would be completely different if it was primed. And I just put some drops of ink on my sponge and then um, put it down on the bare paper. And I'm also working on um, unprimed paper as I'm putting this paint down because it gives it a different effect than if I had gesso or matte medium down. It's really scratchy. It doesn't spread as well. Um, so I wanted that kind of look throughout and then I'll add my matte medium later. I do want to also say with the acrylic ink it is permanent and I didn't get any fading that I normally would with say a walnut ink or a tea bath or coffee. Um, so that is a, is a, a benefit. So I covered the entire page now with matte medium so that I've got that consistency that I'm always usually working on. And I just journaled out some things that I really needed to get out on this page. And I didn't want it to be completely seen. So that's why I put it down first and then covered it up. So bits and pieces of it are there and I know what it says and it's a reminder um, for this page, but not all of it can be seen and that's that's what I wanted and I'm just now putting things down um, however I'm feeling and each piece kind of has a, a meaning um, according to what I journaled um, and according to what I actually put in writing on the page So now that the page is covered with matte medium, the paint spreads much easier. So keep that in mind as you're creating that the surface, surface really does matter on how your paint will appear as you create. Dropping down some alcohol. Alcohol is my favorite th thing to really lighten up the page or the paint and um, it kind of just gives it a real scratchy um, washed effect and I have a lot of control with the alcohol. I will say too that I'm using fluid acrylics which makes a lot of difference um, in the transparency of the paint and the vibrancy of the color. <clears throat> now I'm using my Old World Minis stencil to just kind of tone everything down. 
it's a great way when you're working on a page and maybe things feel a little bright or out of control to take some white and just kind of tone things down. That I'm using now um, high, Golden's High Flow Acrylics, which I'm learning to absolutely love. Um, this is gold, and I wanted just a bit of shimmer in there. So I'm using a gel pen, jelly pen, um, which I have found to be one of the best things to write on my journal pages with however it's not waterproof so you have to be very careful my hand drug across a couple of spots and it kind of lifted up a little bit um, which is okay and the nice thing too about this it flows really well and um, I, I really like how it works on a page that has lots of different um, mediums on it I'm going back over it and kind of giving it a little bit of uh, an, like a calligraphy look, not too much. And I'm just adding hearts and dots and little bits of marks and things here and there, wherever I felt it needed it, and to bring some black in, which is a neutralizing color. You can see there that I'm spraying with the uh, Krylon uh, fixative because, again, that pen is not permanent. And so, of course, um, I forgot to turn on the camera, and um, so I used my uh, Doodle Minis here to get some of those black dots, and then just some paint and charcoal, or just paint actually at this point, to fill in some of those hearts. And now I've just shaded and added some little bits here and there. Um, some doodles, circles around the flowers I've shaded. Just add a little, little bit of oomph to the page. I've gone around it with my pastel, um, uh, soft pastel. And of course I didn't get that on camera either. It was one of those days, one of those technical days. Um, but just lots of shading like I normally do. But here you can see that um, dyed paper in the background peeking through um, the vintage flowers and um, the script on there. I just love this page because there's so much meaning and the, the words mean so much to me. And um, sometimes we get uncomfortable with writing in our own handwriting, um, but it has such an effect for um, what, we're our, what our intentions are for the page. So I really encourage you to do that. That pop of gold in there just makes me happy. And so um, I just love all the color and all the detail. I hope you enjoyed today's Crash the Stash and I hope you get to ch a chance to try some dyeing with acrylic inks. It's a lot of fun and I wanna explore it a lot more. Um, if you like today's um, video, Hit subscribe and like and I will see you next week.